Do you want to know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about how surprising it is for so many people in my life who are wanting to get into makeup a little bit more, but they are so afraid of not looking like themselves. And I feel like there's just so many tips and tricks and products that you can wear and enjoy that really enhance your own personal features and still make you feel completely like yourself. So I'm taking that inspo and I'm gonna do a look for you guys that makes me feel like myself and so, this is something that's like not universal because for some people, certain steps might make them feel more like themselves or might take away from that. So it's kind of something that's very individual. So this is just my version. We're gonna start off with some skincare. So this is a primer, but it's really skincare based and it also has SPF in it, which I felt was great, especially since we're, you know, still in summer a little bit. I'm saying a little bit, it is August, which blows my mind how it's already August. How is that possible? But I feel like we're getting close to back to school and back to work and back to just the normal routine that we all kind of get back into for the fall. So this is a kind of nice in-between for if you want to have that sun protection, but you also wanna prep your skin well for makeup. Now this is something that does not have any glitter, but you can see it just kind of adds a little bit of a healthy glow to the skin, not because there's shimmer in this. Again, it's just because it's more of a skincare based type of product. It dries down really well too, and just kind of really helps prep the skin for my next step. I don't have a problem wearing a full coverage foundation. Honestly, I still feel like myself, whether I'm wearing a sheer coverage foundation or a full coverage one. But for today, I really wanted to show you that you can wear more of a tinted moisturizer type product and it will look exactly <laughs> like you did before, but enhanced. Because for me, I like to cover up a little bit of redness, you know? My natural skin has some acne scarring on it, which honestly, I'm really happy with where my skin is now, especially compared to where it used to be. It was a long journey to get it to this point. But even then, a little bit more of an even tone boosts my confidence and helps me kind of feel more comfortable. So I wanted to use this right here. This is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I wear mine in the shade 14W, and I've been reaching for this one quite a bit. I really like it because it's a great everyday product. And it's not one of those tinted moisturizers where you can't tell if you even put it on, like it's not that no makeup makeup-y. It gives me enough coverage to where it's worth putting it on, if that makes sense. But not too much to where I feel like people are gonna be noticing the makeup on my face. I'm just gonna quickly kind of buff this out on one half of the face so you can see the difference that I see. And it is very subtle because this is a tinted moisturizer, but you can see my redness is kind of toned down compared to this side of the face, but the glow is still the same. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the face with my brush. I also like that this doesn't have too much of a certain foundation-y finish. It does kind of have a little bit of a glow to it, but it's not so glowy to where it looks crazy at the end of the day. It actually has great longevity for me. And it also isn't matte, obviously, because sometimes with certain more matte finishes when it comes to base products, I feel like the more powdery way it dries down can sometimes be a little more obvious on the skin. And if you're trying to look literally like yourself, but better, a finish like this is a nice happy medium where it dries down, it's not too dewy and it's not too matte. It has more of a natural satin finish. I'm taking my sponge and just pressing that in. Next up, I'm gonna use one of my favorite concealers ever right now, and that's this one right here. It's the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. This one is in the shade Light. I actually bought the shade Fair, and then I just kept using this one. I don't know. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand and just pick it up with my sponge, and this is what really helps kind of brighten up the under eye area. A little goes a long way with this, and this shade kind of matches my skin tone more than brightens, which is another tip that I like to use if I'm going for a look where I just want everything to blend into my natural skin tone and not look too highlighted or contoured. Again, the goal of this whole look is just to enhance my natural features, not to change them, if that makes sense. I'm already so happy with how this is looking. We're gonna move into a powder. This is my favorite powder right now. As you guys probably know, this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and I'm gonna be using the shade Sugar Cookie, which is the lighter shade. Um, I do use the shade Cupcake, which has a little bit of a pink undertone sometimes, but this one's just the translucent version. I love this powder because it doesn't even look powdery, <laughs> but for me to feel confident and like, if I'm gonna bother putting makeup on, I need it to last. And so this really boosts my confidence in the longevity of my makeup and also in the finish throughout the day so it doesn't get too oily. Cause I do end up having oils come through on my T-zone. So this kind of ensures that everything that I'm 
bothering to even apply in the first place, it doesn't budge throughout the day. So I'm just pressing this into the T-zone with a smaller brush and under the eyes as well to set the under eye concealer. And then I'm taking a fluffier brush and just putting a little bit less powder, but still the same powder on the sides of the face to make sure that that's nice and set as well. Next, I'm wanting to warm up the skin, but I don't want it to be too over the top. So I really wanna dip into my ColourPop bronzer again. This is so beautiful. This is the Super Shock bronzer. And the one that I'm gonna use is the shade Get Sandy, which is this one. So for me, on days where I want to just enhance what I naturally have, I like to go for a bronzer that's not gonna to be too deep for me. And I find that this one is just perfect. It's not over the top. It's not too cool toned, not too warm toned. And you can see, it really just blends itself out. So I'm gonna to start to apply this on like the cheek area just to start to warm things up. I do like to add some type of definition back into the face after using a foundation and concealer because essentially what happens, even if you use a light coverage of something, you kind of lose a little bit of the dimension in your face by evening out your skin tone. So this whole idea is just to kind of add a little bit of that back without it looking over the top or, you know, super makeup-y. I honestly feel like so many people get so nervous about makeup in general because they're worried about it looking too heavy on the skin, which, you know, is totally a valid concern. Certain products can do that, certain techniques can do that. But I have found that if you just use a light hand and if you use the right products, your makeup can be virtually undetectable on the skin, even if you do a lot of steps like I like to do. It's actually one of my favorite things to do is when I do other people's makeup and I'm not a freelance artist by any means. I feel like if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would be. I mostly just do makeup for family and friends. But even then I've done other people's makeup enough times to kind of see everyone's questions and concerns and also to see their reaction at the end of me doing their makeup and being like, oh, I still look like myself. And I'm like, yes, what were you expecting? You know, that's the point of makeup in my world and in my mind is to just be something that can enhance. And you know, there's a time and a place for makeup to transform and I love that as well. But for every day, I feel like it's really important to recognize that you don't have to feel uncomfortable or like you're being covered up by makeup. It should do the opposite. And if it's not, either you haven't found products that work well for you and what you're looking for, or you haven't found the right techniques, honestly. See how nice that is? I feel like it just airbrushes everything, but it doesn't look like, oh, whoa, she's wearing bronzer. <laughs> it just looks like I've been outside, you know? <laughs> Which, you know, I have such fair skin that if I do go outside, I'm, first of all, I'm wearing lots of sunscreen. Second of all, I don't really tan, I burn. So this is like an illusion, okay? <laughs> this is what I would look like if I did get a little tan. I forgot to mention that I did take a little bit of the bronzer and put it through the crease of my eye and I'm gonna kind of go back in with a little more just to enhance that. We're gonna do brows and for me, a good old brow pencil does the trick. Um, this is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I usually use the Precisely My Brow, but I ran out of the shade that I like and I had the shade in this, so that's what we're going with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brows really quickly. Okay, so brows are filled in. And I've mentioned this a lot on my channel, but for me, I feel the most like myself with a little sparkle on the eyes, okay? I know that people's eyelids don't naturally come glittery, but I really love having a little bit of sparkle on my eyes and I feel so pretty when I wear it. I feel more like myself. I feel more confident. So this is one of those situations where this type of a tutorial is seriously so personal. Some people might be like, absolutely not. I would never wear glitter and feel more like myself, but I do, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the Il Maquillage and Kathleen Lights palette and dip into this top shade here. This is called Super Freak. I've been wearing this one a lot. I have a lot of products that I can use that do similar things like the Bodyography glitter pigments, but this is so nice to have a pressed version in a palette. And I like this because this doesn't really have too, too much of a base color to it. So it just kind of adds a sheer sparkle to the lids, which I think is so pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye. I love that so much. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to apply some mascara. And for me, I love a lot of mascara. Honestly, I feel comfortable wearing a lot of mascara. So I'm gonna do that. And I have been really, really enjoying this new mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Mascara. I've been using it quite a bit in the last couple of videos that I've been filming. 
and I've been wearing it all day and it hasn't smudged or flaked, which is so nice because that's always my biggest concern with mascara. So I'm gonna take step one first, which is a little bit of a smaller brush. This is supposed to lift. So I've just been kind of focusing this on like the roots of the lashes to kind of separate and lift them a little. But my favorite part of the mascara is the second half, which is like the volumizing formula because I love a good volumizing mascara. I am not shy when it comes to mascara. This is one of those things where it's like, I'm not trying to make it look like I'm not wearing mascara. I like the look of mascara <laughs> and I feel super confident with a lot of mascara. So that's what I'm gonna do for myself. Some people don't like, and also I've, I've known some people that will wear a little mascara on the top lashes, but they hate bottom lash mascara. Um, I'm the opposite. I love bottom lash mascara, but that's again where you just have to trust yourself and trust what makes you feel the most beautiful and the most confident. Cause that's ultimately what matters and that's ultimately what translates. It doesn't matter if the whole world said, you know, it's only cute to wear lower lash mascara. If you don't feel pretty or cute or more like yourself with lower lash mascara, don't wear it. It's okay, you know? Do whatever suits you. Whatever you feel suits you is always the best choice, you know? All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I also am somebody who loves blush. And this is a blush that I feel like just never fails me. It's from Makeup by Mario, and this is the Soft Pop Powder Blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. This is one of my favorite, like, everyday blush colors. It never fails me. I love it so much. I feel so pretty when I wear this blush, and it just goes with everything. So I'm just gonna tap off a little bit of the excess on my brush, and then just apply this to the apples of the cheeks. See, blush is another one of those things. I feel like now it's trendy, but even like a year or two ago, people were not loving blush as much as they are now. I've always loved blush. I always have felt like it's something that makes me feel more like myself. I like a lot of blush <laughs> and I feel like myself still, even with, you know, a nice pop of color on the cheeks. Some people don't like it though, and that's okay. Even though I feel like if you're not wearing blush, you are kind of missing out, but that's just my personal opinion. I love the effect that blush gives. I feel like it just adds a healthy lit from within type of a glow, especially if you have the right tone and undertone for yourself. It really can do some magic. Okay, I am going to wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. I was wearing a lip balm before to prep my lips, so they're nice and hydrated. I wanted to choose a lip liner or a lip color that would match my lip color, like my natural lip color really well. And I actually just received this in the mail and I was playing around with some lip combos today. That's kind of what I do in my free time, honestly. I just like try on a bunch of lipsticks. <laughs> it's my favorite. Uh, so I tried this on and I really, really liked how it looked. So let's try it and see if it gives the effect that I'm looking for. So this is the new Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Blissful Blush. And it's really pretty. So I'm just gonna line the lips with this. You can see it literally just blends into my natural lip color. I think it's so nice. It's super smooth as well. So I'm kind of gonna like use it as my lip color today because I like it so much. So I'm kind of meshing it in with whatever's left of the lip balm. Oh my goodness, I love this even more. I was trying it on in like just my normal beauty room lighting earlier and now that I'm in studio lighting, it's like, this is such a good lip color. I wanted to add a little gloss on top. Honestly, it looks so pretty without anything on top, but I love the Jaclyn lip oils and I thought it'd be really cute to put on a clear gloss on top so that as this wears off, it doesn't, it's not too fussy on the lips. So I'm just gonna layer that right on top just for a little extra shine. And I am gonna wipe off, cause it kind of stained the applicator a little bit. So I'm gonna wipe that off on a tissue so I don't accidentally turn this clear lip oil pink <laughs> over time by putting it on top of pink lip colors. Oh my goodness, I feel so cute. Okay, we are going to assess the situation. I actually really like where my bronzer's at, even though I'm taking what's left on the brush and kind of adding more. <laughs> it's just out of habit. I love where the blush is at. Okay, so I'm gonna set the face. I'm gonna use a long wear Setting spray, the one I chose for today, if it will focus, is this one from Lawless. It's called the Glam Guard. And we're gonna spritz the face with this. And then once that's kind of halfway set, I'm gonna take my sponge and press it into the skin. And then I actually really wanted to kind of add an airbrushed touch to the T-zone. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade one. And I'm just gonna kind of touch that right here through the T-zone on the chin a little bit. 
I'm also going to apply it in the center of the forehead just a little, just to kind of smooth that area a little more and to make it look even more flawless. But it still is like undetectable on the skin. It's so pretty, I love this powder. I cannot live without a clear brow gel. So I'm going to set the brows now with my Milani clear brow gel. To me, there's no point in me filling in my brows if I don't set my brow hairs with a clear brow gel because otherwise they move around all day and it like changes the shape of my brows completely. So I have to lock them in. I feel like I already have quite a bit of a fresh glow to my skin, but I really wanted to add something special today with this product. I love this. It's the Say Beauty, what's this called exactly? Hold on. Uh, Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. This is insane. This is a great way to add an insane like lit from within glow without it looking makeup-y whatsoever. It just looks like it's your skin that's glowing like this. So I put a little on the back of my hand and I really kind of push it into my hand with my sponge. And then I take the product from the sponge and I just gently tap that on the high points of the face. And you guys, I can't even explain how stunning this looks in person. I hope you can see what it does on camera, but just trust me that it works and looks so beautiful in person, especially, which is the ultimate goal is to look fresh in person. Okay, I know this was such a simple look, but I am obsessed with it. I genuinely feel completely like myself in this makeup look. I feel so confident, um, but it's also like a very fuss-free type of a makeup look for me personally. And I just love how it looks. This is just, this is me in a makeup look. This is what I feel like my signature everyday look is right now anyway. It's so fun to think about and it's so fun to discover for yourself because some people might feel like themselves with a strip lash on or some people might feel completely like themselves in a red lipstick and it's just so personal but I think that's the fun of makeup and that's the fun of, you know, discovering your signature look and just being confident with it and leaning into it. So whether you're wearing glittery eyeshadow on an everyday basis or just a tinted lip balm, and brushing up your brows, like be confident with whatever makes you feel the most like yourself. Cause ultimately that's what makes all of us so unique and that's what makes us all so beautiful. And I think that's the beauty of makeup as well is like we're able to just be so creative and free with how we wanna apply it and express ourselves with it. And it looks different for everybody, which I think is so cool. So. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my version of what makes me feel like myself. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. I wanna know if there's a product or a technique or maybe like a color scheme, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel the most like yourself, the most confident, whether it's a lot of makeup or a little makeup or maybe no makeup at all is where you feel the most confident. I would love to hear in the comments down below. So be sure to share that with us. You know what? I wasn't gonna do this, but I kinda of like thought it'd be cool. Hold on. <laughs> For some reason when I said like finding your signature makeup look, I thought about how it's kind of similar with fragrance as well. You know, everyone is different, everyone's preferences are different. So I thought I might as well share with you guys what fragrance I feel like matches this vibe for me. And that's this, I've talked about this before. This is from Dead Cool. It's their layering fragrance in milk. I'm not wearing perfume yet today, so I'm just gonna spritz that on. Yes, this is so yummy, it's fresh, it's not too much, it's not too overpowering, it's a very great everyday type of a scent. It's also something you can layer with other perfumes, which is why it's called the layering fragrance. But I wear it by itself all the time. It's a great everyday fragrance and to me, this signature look with this signature scent is me. <laughs> so I thought I would share this with you guys. I'll have this link down below, I love Dead Cool. I actually just saw that they launched at Sephora, which is so exciting, um, but I do have a code for Dead Cool, I think, still. If I do, I will have it in the description box down below for their website. They make my favorite fragrances, and they also make a laundry detergent in this scent, and it's my favorite. I use it for my clothes, too, so this is literally how I smell with my clothes and on a daily basis. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.